Hello and welcome back to Wild Thistle Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you what we got in our most recent Azure Standard order. And Malcolm had his first Azure pickup and he was such a good boy. <laughs> it's about an hour um, one way to our Azure pickup and he was just so so good in the car. I was amazed. And you can see here we did have a little accident. It was our fault. I tossed the sugar bag in the car a little too hard and it broke uh, but just a little bit spilled and I cleaned it up and here it all is on the island we did a big order this time because we have not done one in oh gosh a few months now so here's some bittersweet and semi-sweet chocolate chips Azure has great chocolate chips they do not have any additives and I think all of them or at least some of them are allergy free and then here's some active dry yeast. So I was getting low on that. Big bag of sugar. We were also getting low on that um, for baking and, you know, sweetening things. Some organic shoyu soy sauce. I love this brand and Azure has such a great price on it. I got six bottles, six 20 ounce bottles. That'll last us quite a long time. And... Next, we've got some pickled jalapenos because we are all out of our home canned uh, pickled jalapenos and we love them. We use them on everything. So I'll have to make extra this year. And then here, uh, some of the dark roasted peanut butter. We love this one. It's my husband's favorite. If you've watched any of my other hauls, you've probably seen this a couple of times. <laughs> and then we have some flour just regular organic all-purpose flour great big bag i'll put this in my gamma seal lid buckets so yeah 50 pound bag of organic flour and then a 25 pound bag of organic rolled oats for oatmeal in the morning, for granola. We've been making a lot of granola lately. I'll share that recipe here one of these days. And then two bags of baking soda. I actually ordered baking soda and baking powder, but I got two bags of baking soda and Azure's customer service is great. I'll just get a credit and get some baking powder next time. Thankfully, I still have some in the pantry. And here are some glass jars, which is surprisingly hard to find, of organic applesauce for us, for Malcolm. He's not crazy about applesauce, but we're going to give it a couple more tries. A big jug of organic extra virgin olive oil. We were getting very low on olive oil. And here, um, organic toasted sesame oil. I get the glass jars actually from Thrive Market, and I decided this time around to just get a big jug of this and refill them. It's it's a better financial decision and just better. We, we use a lot of it, so it makes sense. And some red wine vinegar, same thing. We use a lot of that and I'll just refill our glass, little glass bottle. And then organic rice vinegar. Um, we also, that's one of our favorites for Asian meals. And here is another big 12 pounder of just the best honey. It's amazing how good this honey tastes. It's very floral and it just tastes like the honey should taste. And Azure has the best price on honey. Here's the cold stuff. Um, the these are tart red cherries. One of my absolute, well, my favorite, my only birthday dessert is a tart cherry pie. My grandma instilled that love in me at a very early age and it's still my favorite. My husband makes it for me now that she is gone. And um, I was really excited to see that Azure had these frozen tart cherries. I grew up with cherry trees and we would pick them and pit them and freeze them and make jams and pie fillings. So. This was a very exciting purchase for me, and I am sure it will not be the last time I get them from Azure. 
And here is our favorite yogurt, which you've also seen before here. It's just so good and creamy and milky. It's not too tart. It's just like the perfect yogurt in my opinion. So we get two big flats of that almost every time we order. I should probably get more because Malcolm loves yogurt now too. And then again, our favorite butter. We stocked back up on this. I haven't gotten it in a long time. This is the Rumiano organic salted butter and some more of this raw milk white cheddar. I get it in these smaller ones because it's more convenient and I don't have to use extra, you know, plastic bags to put it away. But I also like this one because it's aged longer than the bigger blocks. So it's a little bit sharper um, and I like a sharp cheddar. And this is that mozzarella I've gotten several times now. We shred it up for our weekly pizzas, homemade pizza, and just anywhere else we need mozzarella, baked pastas, things like that. It's really a good mozzarella. It's dry, so it melts really nice. And this I got last time I ordered in a small bottle just to try it out, and it is amazing. It removes stains. We've got a newborn. Well, he's seven months now, but... The newborn phase comes with a lot of stains, and this stuff can can handle them. So I got a big jug to refill our plastic bottle. And this is a large box of frozen organic spinach. It's one of our favorite quick side dishes when we're like, what's for dinner? And here are those beautiful cherries again. I guess I needed to show them to you twice, but they really are my favorite. And just look how beautiful they are. They came just, you can tell that they were like individually flash frozen and beautiful. And then here, I'm just gonna show you kind of how we put away all of this stuff. Maybe not everything, but the spinach, I have this little side, um, compartment in the freezer and they all just fit perfectly in there so that was very satisfying and here's our little freezer in the laundry room that's where I just tossed the cherries this freezer could use some organizing but for now they fit right on top and that's where they're gonna go and here's the yogurt and the cheeses all put away a while ago I got these plastic containers from Amazon for organizing, which I don't really use that much in the fridge, but the cheeses really fit in there nicely. Um, there was one extra mozzarella that had to sit on top, but we'll use that up very quickly. And then they'll all be nicely snuggled into their containers as we use them up. And then down here is the butter. It all fit into this sort of smaller side compartment drawer. And we use a lot of butter in this house because I make a lot of bread, I bake a lot, um, and we have, and you'll see, it'll last, we'll use this up well before December of this year. People always seem worried that there's so much butter and how are you going to use it all, but butter freezes really well and it really doesn't even need to be frozen if you use it relatively quickly. So here I'm just dumping the oats into one of my buckets. I'll have to get another one because they didn't all fit in that one because I already had some in there. But we go through, like I said, I don't worry about, you know, things going bad because we have three big teenage and young adult boys in our house um, one girl almost 16 and then Jason and I and a baby so you know we and I love to cook and bake so we're just going through this stuff constantly so it's really not an issue and you saw me there putting some flour away same thing with the flour people worry that you know I'm not freezing it and it's gonna go bad and I'm gonna get weevils and you know maybe I will one day but so far, I have never had that issue, and, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, so I'll take my chances, because we just don't have room in our freezer for a, you know, 50-pound bag of flour. But here, I'm just putting everything away in jars in the pantry. The chocolate chips, I put in these jars in the pantry, and the kids sometimes just grab them and snack on them, um, and of course, I use them for 
chocolate chip cookies and trail mix and all those things and melting for recipes. They're just, they're such tasty, smooth chocolate chips. If you have the chance to get them, I definitely recommend it. And I think in the future, I'm just going to get the bittersweet because they're really not that much darker or stronger. And we do prefer the darker chocolate in this house. And there's not that much of a taste difference. So I, I don't think I'll get both varieties again in the future. I'm just putting the peanut butter and the chocolate chips away. My husband uses peanut butter daily. He has apples and peanut butter. He loves green apples with peanut butter. And the yeast, I'm just sticking in the freezer until I pour it into my jar that I keep in the fridge. And here's the baking soda going into my baking soda jar. It's very satisfying topping off all the jars. this pantry oh boy it really needs to be organized and maybe I'll do a video of that but for now <laughs> I'll only show you bits of it it's just with all these people in the house and having a baby the pantry has been a bit neglected and here's the honey you just kind of have to go for it when you're pouring out of this giant container and I just I always spill a little when I wipe it up it's just the way it goes I'd rather pour than get a get a scoop or a measuring cup and dip it in there because then I've got to clean that so I just pour it and then wipe off wipe off the jug and this cute little honey jar I got on Etsy a while back and I really love it I keep it up above the coffee pot I like honey in my coffee sometimes usually I just have it with cream but every once in a while a little sweet coffee is nice and then here's that little jar or bottle I was telling you I got last time and we used it up pretty quickly <laughs> with this baby um, so just filling it up here keep it in the laundry room fill it up as we need it And then here, like I was saying earlier, these big jugs I'll keep in the pantry. And then I usually keep the red wine vinegar and the sesame oil and the olive oil out because we just use it a lot. I just keep it next to the stove. Um, and I will just refill these smaller bottles. And this This olive oil bottle I really like. I want to get this label off, but Every time I think about doing it, it, it it just seems like something I don't want to deal with because it leaves back the little paper that you have to scrape off, but eventually I'll do that and just have a nice green bottle. And then here is the flower container that I usually keep out with, you know, filled with flour that we use daily, but lately I've just been dipping right into the bucket because it's just easier and I've been really baking a lot lately. I've been getting more and more into sourdough. And I'm getting those sourdough recipes up on my blog, wildthistlekitchen.com. If you ever want to check them out, I'll link that below. And then here, just sticking some applesauces in there. And here's just a little glimpse of some, how I put some, sometimes the labels come off really easily from the Azure bags. So, I will pull them off if it comes off easy enough and just stick them on the jar. Um, and if not, I just write on there or I just know what it is. And Sucanat, oh man, I've really been getting into that lately. It's such a neat sweetener, um, all natural. It's very dry, so I like adding it to recipes that you don't want to get too sticky. And then there's just some jars of things we put in our granola or trail mix. Almost everything in here at this point is from Azure. They just have such good quality items and I'm so pleased with them. So here's a glimpse of the pantry. It's not terrible, but it's just kind of gotten unorganized over the last few months and I'm itching to get in here and organize, but for now, it's just gonna stay the way it is. All right, thank you so much for watching.
I hope you enjoyed this video and my Azure haul, and I will see you soon with more videos.